invite and welcome another former colleague of mine. We, we are always talking about physical learning for children. Miss um, Mildred Gamba is the head of secondary physical education at Rainbow International School. She is also the national sprint coach for Uganda. She's a track and field athlete who has represented Uganda at various international events and a multinational champion in 100 meters, 200 meters, and long jump. She's also the founder of Titan Banner Athletic Club, TBAC, that helps to empower girls through sports and is the CEO of Gamba Athletics Foundation that aims to help the youth achieve their potential through sport. Um, Miss Mildred Gamba, you're very welcome to this conversation today. We are honored that you could actually spare time. I know you're writing reports right now and trying to make sure school ends in time. And um, we're really privileged that you could just make this moment for us. Please take us away, Miss Mildred. Uh, thank you, Miss Jackie. And thank you for the opportunity to be able to present my ideas and my view on the importance of physical activity for any students. Uh, just uh, because this is online, can everybody hear me? Am I breaking or everything is fine? Just a thumbs up would uh, be okay for me. Okay, um, I, I need to share my screen. I'm just waiting um, on that. Okay, um, so basically, uh, as a PE teacher, I've realized that it's very important for us and our children to participate in sport. And when I was growing up, I know like we had physical exercise as part of our curriculum. And I remember we would always look forward to the break time and the lunch time, would even miss lunch because we we're playing. Then we didn't understand the value or the importance of it. And like Jackie mentioned, unfortunately, currently, it's a lot more focused on academics and uh, getting the grades right and forgetting that actually the physical activity is more important. And uh, having worked in an international school, I, we get to realize that universities nowadays are no longer looking for grades only. So even if your child has an A star or 15 A stars, they will ask you, what else have you been doing? Have you been involved in charities? Have you been involved in sport? They want an, an all-round child, not just somebody who is being um, academic. And the reason for this, uh, there are very many reasons. So for example, when we look at sport, one of the most important things uh, why children should participate in sports is because it keeps us healthy. Um, most of us will testify that if you fall sick, or maybe let's talk of our grandparents or our parents, when we take them to hospital, most of the times uh, the results you get is they need to start walking, they need to get more active. And that is because they have not been active. They've been living a solitude lifestyle. And when you look at even our jobs, 90% of the time we're sitting on a computer and doing nothing. So if kids are active in sports, it helps to develop their cardiovascular fitness. This means that they're able to carry on daily from morning to five, and they still have some energy left in the evening to be able to continue and do some work. Most of us, by the time we get back home, we're just slumping in the chair and we can't even get up to pick um, the remote, which really uh, goes back to being able to allow us to be active. Um, but then also, for, especially for children, when they're active in sports the whole time, it helps to increase their bone density. Because remember, children are still growing. Uh, when they're still young, their bones are like cartilage, and they keep getting harder and firmer as they go along. So when they keep doing physical activity, the bone density helps, it helps, it helps the bone density to increase, which makes them to later on in life avoid arthritis, which is a very common problem that we have as we are growing older. But then also there's something which is like good fitness levels. I mean, we all want to have very nice looking bodies. I mean, yeah, six pack, sure. 
take it away. And uh, you know, that whereby I'm able to eat anything. If you are, if we encourage children to be involved in physical activity the whole time, then it helps them to have very good fitness levels. And what this does, it helps to improve their metabolism. That means every time they eat something, they're able to digest it very fast. Then we're going to have less issues with obesity, which is something that uh, the world is fighting right now in schools because a lot of kids are very obese. And this comes about with the kind of lifestyle we're choosing. We are so much into gadgets uh, currently. So you find most of the time we are either here or we are here or we are here. So basically we are not moving around. When we were younger, we, would, we didn't have phones, they would, the TV, well, there wasn't something so interesting, we couldn't binge watch. So you would have to be running around to your neighbors and invent games, and this is not there anymore. So this is why we actually really need to drum the importance of kids being active in school currently. Um, and then also, uh, sport helps people to develop leadership skills. You may wonder how. Well, if you're in, in, in a team, even if like lunchtime, if you want to really see how they develop their leadership skills, go and watch a pr primary kids playing at lunchtime on their own, not an organized lesson, just children. You will find that there's that one person who is the captain who will always resolve all the conflict. There's this other person who is, who, who, who is the one who, who always creates problems. So as you find that there's always a leader who devolves, and sometimes there's that other one person who is, who is, the, who is the confidence booster. Like when you fall up, you're like, no, come on, get up, let's keep going. So it, in, in that, as they keep developing, doing sports, they develop leadership skills. Because you also find that you have team captains. Because every time when they're going to play, they're like, okay, let's choose teams. I'll be a captain, I'll be a captain. Or they're like, no, you need to be the captain. So in that way, they're changing goals and they're learning how to be leaders. But then also another thing that we really underestimate is how... Uh, physical exercise helps us to boost our emotional uh, fitness. And this is something that we underestimate a lot. But I'm pretty sure most of us, because the whole world was under lockdown, we can testify that during the lockdown, we realize the importance of just being able to walk out of your house, maybe go to the shop, take a walk, because just sitting in the, four, in, in, in the room became a bit too much and you felt like you were being uh, suffocated. So definitely when we have sports in school, these children help, it helps them to develop and boost their emotional fitness. And of course, what this does, it also helps to refresh their minds and create happiness. A lot of the times, like as a PE teacher, when I see the kids, when they're out there um, playing on the field, you can see the joy on their, on, on their face. Yes, it looks like physically you will be tired too, but, Emotionally, you're not tired, you're happy because you're doing something you love to do. And what, does that, what that does also is it helps to freshen your mind. I've experienced that in lockdown, when I went out uh, to walk, when I came back, I felt a bit more refreshed. So imagine for children who are learning the whole day, if you give them that opportunity to just go out for one hour, they come back when they are, they, when they are refreshed and they're willing to learn uh, more, even their brain cells, um, more brain cells are recruited and this is backed up uh, by research. But then the most important thing is there's better academic performance. And this has been proved by um, various research and I hope I would be able to share my screen because there's a certain, a very powerful image that I had. Yes, I am able to share my screen now. Yes. Just give me a minute. As a, can you see my screen? We can see it. Thank you. Okay. So, um, so I was talking about a better academic performance. So, of course, it helps us to improve um, our memory. Normally when we learn, the first thing in memory is something stored in the short-term memory. And of course, when you do it more, it's stored in the long-term memory. 
And when you learn throughout the day, if you're doing for six hours, the short-term memory is already clogged. So if you just keep adding on knowledge within that short time, then you find that there's no more learning taking place. But if you give them a short break within that, that time, even if 10, 15 minutes, and they can go out to just refresh their memory, then they will find, you'll find that they will learn um, much better and they'll have a better uh, academic performance. I'll explain this later on uh, on the last slide. And of course, develop a social life. I mean, we all need a social life, okay? And when I, I found that I've made a lot of friends all over the world because of sport. So I can say I have someone from Nigeria, Ghana, USA. Why? Because when I've traveled to present to Ghana different competitions, you always meet different people. And you find that you, you, you're so surprised by how much you share in common, even if you don't share the same things in common, but just the ability to be able to socialize. It makes it very easy for you to go to a place and easily adapt because you have something that you're looking forward to. So it's even for children, when they're new in school, just because they're able to socialize through physical activity, they have a common language, even if they have a language barrier, because they're speaking the same language, which is sport, they're all participating, they're having fun, it makes the children to easily develop a social life. And let's face it, we need it, because currently we're living, you have the child go from school to home, in the gate, just with the housemates or with you and gadgets. And the children are having less and less uh, exposure to better social lives. But then also, uh, sports and schools helps us to develop discipline, cooperation, and teamwork. Uh, as we know, in sports, without discipline, you go nowhere. I, a, a famous example I can give probably is Cristiano Ronaldo recently, uh, if, for those of us who watch football, where, 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 where he had a dispute with his coach and he was told not to play, he's not going to play, he was being subbed on and he wasn't happy with that, he walked off the team. And definitely what's happening, he's having to leave the team. You're never bigger than a team. Uh, and in sport, no matter how talented or excellent you are, the number one thing is discipline. And of course, this discipline that they're learning in sport carries on to other aspects of life. Because as an, as, an, as, as an international athlete, one of the things I've learned is discipline, time management. My, my friends will tell you, like if, if, if we say we're, we're leaving at seven, I'll be at the door at 6.45. And probably they're not even ready yet. Because I have learned in sport, if my coach says, we are training at nine o'clock, it does not mean I arrive at nine o'clock. It means I arrive at eight o'clock, start warm up, start preparations. By the time the coach is arriving at nine o'clock, I am ready to go. So that's discipline that is so important that we learn and carry on even in, in our lives, in academics, in business. If you have an exam, you know that my exam is starting at 10. I am not arriving at 10, but I am arriving before 10 to be ready for that exam. Cooperation, because you always you have to work with all kinds of people. So if you're in a class of 20, even if you don't like everybody, at some point you have to do teamwork. For example, if you're playing football, Football is not a one-person one game. Even if you're doing athletics or anything, it helps us to learn teamwork and cooperation. And these are skills that are transferable to every aspect of our lives. But if we deny our children some of these, then they don't really know how to enforce this. And so you, you end up having all these endless meetings about teamwork, team building. But if it has not been built from the school, it's very difficult for them to try and imagine having that um, in their lives. But then, of course, there's positive mentoring. As they're doing the sport, they're meeting different teachers. They're meeting different coaches. Even parents sometimes volunteer or cheer. Each of these person has a different impact or mentoring. So, for example, if I, if I have a team of six people, they have different parents. And some of the parents, one parent may be a banker, one may be a soldier. And you'll find that the kids, this one might be interested in banking. You're like, oh, your dad is a banker. Talk to the person and you see how mentoring is happening. But it is also helping you to build social capital. And social capital is one of the, the things we, uh, we need uh, currently. And then, of course, develop a social life, which is almost the same thing like uh, develop socially. Every Sunday, I know in England, Sundays is a day where people just can't have fun playing football. They just form different teams and just have fun playing football. And that is creating a social life. I also know like we have uh, the Activate Uganda, they do this harsh Harris run where people go and run, then they come and they sit down, 
drink a beer after. But it's not, the sport is bringing them together, but it is now helping them to create a social life around them. But then it also helps you to interact with very many people. And for me, the most important thing about having children participate um, in sport is enabling them to develop self-esteem. Because once you do not have self-esteem and lack self-confidence, however talented you are, academically or anything, you will find that you're not able to succeed. So sport is one place where we allow you to make mistakes. You practice, you practice until you succeed. You will start to see little improvements happening and every little improvement gives you encouragement. Every encouragement helps to boost your self-esteem and then you become a risk taker and you know, okay, I tried this time and this time it didn't work. And next time it will work. And then lastly, of course, the biggest thing uh, for sports in school is that it really does help for children. It does help to boost their mental ability. And this is a research that was done and published in the Journal of Sport and Exercise Science by Charles Hillman. So, the first picture here, we have children who just sat for 20 minutes, sitting quietly, like all teachers want to do, not doing anything, just sit quietly. And the last, the other one, we had another group of children walk for 20 minutes. As you can see, the children who walk for 20 minutes, the red area, their brain cells were more activated. Okay. And of course, also research has shown that children who do uh, exercise or do go out at play break and play ar around, they will come back to class and they're more attentive. Yes, they may not seem to be settled, but they are more attentive in class. And also they are way better behaved. Links again, uh, sport helps to teach uh, discipline. And it doesn't have to be something so big and doesn't even have to just be for the kids. You can do simple things like a, a, a 10 minute walk around the house uh, do some push-ups, some sit-ups, anything to get your mind active. And academically, there, there was also a study still by Hillman, which whereby they got kids to do um, a standard achievement test. So the kids who were doing physical exercise constantly, every time they were doing physical exercise, their results kept improving. And those who were not, their results were not improving. The higher the level of physical exercise, the better their grades go. So I would recommend all parents who are listening, teachers, let's please encourage our children to be involved in sport. It is not a waste of time that they're just playing around. And if you also notice, sport has become a multi-billion dollar industry. If you look right now, the World Cup, the money that Qatar is wrecking in, all that is because of sport. And also sport is not just about playing. There are very many other things you can achieve. You can become a sports journalist, as a psychologist and nutritionist, there are very many things you can do, but let's encourage our children to participate in sports. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Mildred Gamba. Um, you've talked a lot about physical activity and how